So let's come to the a little closer to the edge of the seat. Try to get your back off the back of the chair. Feet flat on the ground to start. We'll leave our bands down or around the necks. Um, and we're gonna start rolling, or warming up, rolling out the shoulders. So bring those shoulders forward, lift up towards the ears, pull back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and then pull down. And let's keep going around here. We have 80s music today. Again, I know not everybody's gonna like every kind of music, but hopefully I can give a little taste each time. So one of these days we'll we'll hit something you like, and I will take requests, so. <laughs> All right, let's switch directions. Pull the shoulder blades together, pulling the shoulders back, squeeze up by the ears, roll forward and pull down. Really intentional with your movement. Try to make nice big circles with the shoulders. All right, one more here. Nice, let the shoulders settle down, reach the arms out to this side, palms face down, and let's make some circles. And just like with the shoulders, when you pull the hands back, pull the shoulder blades together, try to get that movement started from the upper shoulders and have it continue down to the fingertips. So the fingers are moving the most, but it's the shoulders doing the work. All right, let's switch directions. All right, bring the hands down. We're gonna tap the right heel out, bring it back, and left heel taps out. Try to keep the shoulders over the hips, core nice and strong here as you move those left feet out. side to side, getting a little stretch on that side, and then pulling that elbow back down to the hip. As you reach up and over, think about lengthening through that side, and then contracting to pull that elbow back down, and bring that shoulder back over your hip. Go for three, two, we're gonna move back to those heel taps, one, tap it out. And keep those feet moving, we're gonna move, bring the arms in with the feet. So when you tap that right foot out, you'll reach the right arm over. When you tap the left foot out, left arm will reach over. We'll go in three, two, one, add those arms. Going on. <laughs> yeah. Pat our 
heads and rub our bellies next. <laughs> We're going to move just to the lower half of the body here soon. We're going to march it out like we did last week. We'll go in three, two, one. Bring the hands down, march it out. You want to release the arms, let the arms go. as you reach that arm out in front of you at about shoulder height. It's so quiet when we just do the upper body. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to go back to that marching in three, two, one, march it out. of it by where you place your hands in, in addition to moving up and level with the band. So lots of options there. We're going to start with those triceps, a little bit different than we've done before. So bringing the hands fairly close together. We're going to bring our left hand to our left shoulder. Right hand's going to be there as well. Elbow out at about shoulder height, and you're just going to straighten that arm and then bring it back. So you're bringing the arm out in front of you, holding the left arm straight or sorry, left arm in towards the shoulder and stationary. And that right arm is extending out and coming in towards the le left shoulder. We have two more on this side and then we'll switch sides. All right, let's bring the right hand to the right shoulder. Left hand comes over to that right shoulder as well. Elbows, left elbows out in front of the left shoulder. Got all that? And we'll straighten that left arm. Pull it out, bring it in. So that movement is just happening at the elbow. You're pulling the hand out, bending the elbow, and then straightening it. The 
fan's very squeaky today. Two and one. Nice job, bring that band down. We're gonna do some leg extensions. So pressing the sit bones into the band, or into the chair. You can grab onto the chair here for a little extra stability, almost like you're pulling yourself down. Or just bring your hands to your hips or your legs. And we're gonna bring one leg out, hold it there, point the toes, bring the toes back, and bring the foot down, then switch sides. Extend the leg, point the toes, pull the toes back, and bring it down. Control it out, squeeze that quad, point the toes, pull them back, and bring it down. Bring it out, point the toes, pull the toes back, and bring that foot down, nice and controlled. it back down. Nice job. Extend, point, pull back, step it down, extend, point, pull back, step it down. Keep going. As you extend that leg, really contract that quad, that upper thigh, and then pull that heel back down to the floor. Bring it back down. figure out how to do get rid of that the music stops and my phone rings <laughs> I'm, I'm all for that <laughs> I, I won't lead you but <laughs> you're more than welcome to I would happily have somebody take that on all right we're gonna do two more on each side extend point Toes pull back, step it down, extend, point, pull back, step it down. One more time each side. Bring it back down, extend, point, pull it back, bring it down. All right, take that band, we're gonna bring it around the back of the chair or around your back. I actually recommend your back because these chairs aren't super high. If they were a little higher, I'd have you do that. So if you want to wrap the band around your hands, if your grip strength is kind of, if you feel like your hands are getting really tired, you can wrap it around. Just a little side note I should have mentioned before. Um, but we're going to bring the, uh, sorry, hands in towards the shoulders here, elbows back, and we're going to punch forward, and then pull the elbows back. Punch it forward, and pull back. Control that band back. Don't let it pull you. Try to keep the elbows up as high as you can, as your shoulders will allow. Nice job. We have four more of these. job. All right, bring that band down. And we're going to start back with those tricep pulls. <laughs> so bringing the hands close together, left hand at left shoulder, right hand over at left shoulder with that elbow up, and then extend that arm, straighten it out, and control it back in. So you want to imagine contracting here at the back of that arm to straighten that elbow. Bring it back in and switch sides. Right hand at right shoulder, left hands over on that right shoulder as well. Elbows up and let's extend it out. Straighten that arm, squeeze the back of the arm and control it back. Keep that elbow and that movement coming from the elbow.
four more. Last one. Nice job, bring that band down. We're gonna move back to those leg extensions. So grabbing onto your seat or hands on the thighs or hips. Take that right leg, extend it out, point the toes, pull the toes back and bring it down. Extend the leg, point the toes, pull it back, bring it down. Nice job. that quad as you extend the leg. Do four more on each side. Extend, point, pull back, bring it down. Last three. Stop, everybody. Last two. Bring it down. Last one each side. down, take that band and we'll bring it behind our back, bring it in up, up high on the back, and wrap that band around the hands if you'd like, hands are going to be at shoulder height, bring the elbows out to the side here, think about pulling the elbows back a little bit, again squeezing those shoulder blades together like we did during those shoulder rolls, and let's punch it forward and control it back, punch it forward and control back. Two more. Nice job. All right, let's bring it back down. We're gonna get into bicep curls now. So we're gonna grab onto the band again, fairly close together. Palm is gonna be facing up on that right hand. Left hand's just gonna be holding onto the band at that left knee. So arms are extended out towards the th top of the thighs or the knees. And you're gonna take that right arm, just curl that hand up towards the shoulder and bring it down. Nice job. Again, you can always adjust the resistance with where you put your hands on the band. Closer together, the harder it's gonna be. And you can always do these without the bands too. So just that intention of contracting that muscle is gonna really help you out. Let's get two more. Last one. Awesome, let's switch sides. So band in that right hand at the right knee. Left hand holds onto the band, palm faces up. And we're gonna bend that elbow, bringing the hand up towards the shoulder and then control it down.
more. Nice. All right, we're gonna bring the band down. We're gonna be doing some squats behind the chair. So we're gonna, everybody's gonna stand up, come behind the chair. If you wanna stay in the chair and just focus on pressing the feet into the floor and like see if you can get little lifts off the chair, you can. So just that attention again of contracting the muscle can help. Otherwise, we'll come up, come behind the chair. Feet can be a little wider than hips width apart. Using that chair for some stability. Hands on the back. You can step back, find what's comfortable for you, what works for your body. Everybody's body's proportions are different. But we're gonna drop the hips down, bend the knees, pull the hips back, keep that chest lifted, and then press coming up. So lower down. <laughs> and press to come up. Lower down, think about pressing the floor away from you, coming up, stand tall. Nice. This always reminds me of ballerinas doing little plies at the bar. Four more. Last two. And last one. Press come up. Let's come back to the chair. Moving back to that upper body, getting the shoulders a little bit more. We're going to hold on to the band about shoulder distance apart. And bring the arms out in front of you. Extending them out. And again, if you can make any adjustments you need to with how you're holding on to the band. But from here, we're going to pull out and then bring it back together nice and controlled. So not fast movements. Three. As you pull out, again, think about pulling those shoulder blades together. Try to keep the shoulders down away from the ears. She would have had this song during the warm up when we were marching. <laughs> All right, two more. Bring the hand, bands down. We're going to go back to those bicep curls. So both hands at the knee, sit up tall, arms extended. We're going to bend that right elbow, bring it up to the shoulder while that left hand stays still. So pull it up and bring it down. Two more. Bring it down and switch sides. So right arm stays still, left hand's gonna pull up towards the shoulder and go back. Okay to tap your feet too if you want to. Three more after this one. Last one. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do those squats or those little lifts from the chair. So you can bring yourself behind the chair if you'd like. Bringing the feet wider than hips width. 
everybody a little time to get situated here. Hands are going to be on the back of the chair for that stability and support. There you go. That works well. <laughs> All right. Let's lower those hips down. Keep the chest lifted and press into the floor to come all the way back up. Nice. As you come back up, think about pressing that pelvis forward slightly, squeezing those glutes. Get that full extension through the hips. Back to the chair. Last little bit here. Bring yourself down. Grab onto that band. Again, hands about shoulder distance apart. Bringing them out in front of you. Palms facing down. Pull the shoulders back and down from the ears. And then we'll pull that band apart. And control it back in. And pull it back. So that band should be coming closer to the chest as you bring the hands apart. And then coming back out as the hands come together. Three more. Let's bring that band down. You can set it on the floor or behind you or wrap it around your neck again. And let's roll up the shoulders, get in a nice little stretch here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think the 80s playlist might be a good one to play some more. Let's switch directions on the shoulder rolls. <laughs> Bring that right arm across the chest. Left hand comes up above the elbow. Pull the shoulders down and then hug that right arm in towards the chest. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. And then you can drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Get a nice stretch to the right side of the neck. head back up, release the arms, and then bring left arm across the chest. Right hand comes to the back of the arm, hug that arm in, shoulders pull down, and then drop your right ear to your right shoulder. And let's bring the head back up, release the arms, Let's bring that right foot forward, heel pressing down into the floor. Get that nice and long through the spine and let's lean forward out over that right leg. You can grab onto the chair for stability as you pull the hips back and gently bring that chest forward. Let's come back up, bringing the shoulders back over the hips, bring the right leg in and extend the left leg out. Toes up, press that heel down, get nice and tall on the spine, and let's lean forward out over that left leg now.